the Capital Gang on 91.3 Capital FM. Hello. Good morning and welcome to the Capital Gang. It's a bit of a rowdy settling in, but um, it's happy independence to Uganda. And uh, in the studio, I have uh, Namfi already is in the studio. Good morning, Namfi. Good morning, Oscar. Yes. Uh, Did you tell the listeners that I was the first to arrive here? Oh, very good. Uh, good morning, Katesh. Good morning, uh, listeners. Uh, good morning, Lydia. Honorable Lydia Wanyoto. Good morning to our listeners and to the viewers online. And it is Lydia's and birthday on, no, on, on Independence Day. On 9th. On 9th, yes. Oh. And uh, Malcolm Kamizo in the studio. Good morning, Malcolm. Uh, good morning, Oscar. Mm. And Malcolm Junior. Uh, and a very good morning to our listeners. Yes. I am in the company of uh, a young man who has presidential aspirations. Ah! Oh. After, yes. uh, after our current president. We'll say say hello to Uganda. Hello Uganda. What's your name? <laughs> Terence Charles Nomwasigwa. Nomwasigwa. Uh, uh, where do you go to school before you become a president? You all children go to Taiba. Mm. <laughs> I'm so, not sure. <laughs> school are you now? <laughs> Friends International Christian Academy. Academy. Okay, mm. okay Mr. President. <laughs> in the Under which party? <laughs> <laughs> he was fired. Those ones we shall discuss. Uh, he has he has about uh, ten years to go. Now, 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 does not allow young people to join the NRM party. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, was it? So, uh, listeners, on to today's show. We have a few topics, good topics for discussion. And we'll start with you, Honorable Katesh. Mm. Uh, trouble in the Prime Minister's office. Mm. Um, what's happening over there? And uh, you find that uh, a, a minister, someone would call him a junior minister, is going to take them for training in communication. <laughs> but uh, I, I don't know, you don't have a diplomatic passport, do you? Why? You do? Yes, possibly. Ah, because then you have a diplomatic passport, mm. you need permission to travel. <laughs> well, so for you as a member of parliament, who would give you your permission? The, the speaker. speaker of parliament. So the speaker of parliament would yes. give you a letter yeah. that says this is Honorable Dixon Yes. and he's allowed to travel. Yes. And uh, at any destination, you present your passport and the letter. Yes. So if you have a prime minister saying he did not allow a particular minister yes. to travel, yes. then how, how did that particular minister get her permission to travel? Well, I, 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 I don't think that yes. the discussion should be about uh, permissions and lack of permissions mm -hmm. because those are factual issues which we may not be privy to. Uh, but uh, we should be discussing about Mal Malcolm. It's not every day you find Katesh looking for words, no, no. but the way he's stammering today no, in the morning. No, I'm, 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 I'm building my point because you are trying to restrict me into factual issues because I cannot pronounce myself because whether we one had to go with the factual issues. Yes, now for me, the issue is about the, the statements that came out. Hmm probably uh, a manifestation of what has been happening uh, in that office and perhaps between the two that you should be we shouldn't be just looking at that event as a as, a, as just an event that came out of the blue mm. I think for me the issue should be that uh, how should people conduct themselves in such offices particularly two senior people who are role models to many people Okay, they have people who look up to them, but they also have responsibility. Um, first of all, as party members and as leaders in government. And I think the problem has been, in my own opinion, the change management, managing change in a political progress, managing political progression. Or did, you, did you tell Kateshi that he's writing? Uh coursework <laughs> <laughs> yeah because uh, I'm, I'm just ground. trying to, I'm just trying to to, to, to you're see you're most welcome to gang on <laughs> yeah. in a very smart suit 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am surprised that a, a straightforward question. Yes. You are reading books, opening one after another. No, no, there are no books. The, for it, it me, the issue is... the man has struggled with this question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the issue is that our two senior colleagues, mm. first of all, you know, the, 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 the clips that came out, of course, well. is, un, is uncalled for. It represents uh, bad, uh, bad behavior in terms of... Uh, what is expected but mm-hmm. i think the issue has been if you have been a secretary general okay mm. very powerful with a lot of power because i think we all witnessed it when uh, our colleague was sg and then suddenly you, you come to down to a much uh, junior position mm. where you don't have the escorts okay and then uh, your supervisor is someone who was perhaps lower in rank and then suddenly is your boss so that change management first of all of accepting reality that <laughs> this uh, lady is my boss is a prime minister how do i relate mm. and perhaps also the other way around of how do you now manage some of the of the <laughs> your colleague who was maybe senior but now is below you so mm. that 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 issue of change i think is the one that is, is causing issue. a lot of uh, le, 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 let me go to lydia mm. uh, <laughs> honorable lydia Anyoto. yes i was supposed to be with lydia on tv but she she stayed away <laughs> i reach there and they say you are with honorable lydia 10 minutes lydia is nowhere to be seen lydia is a busy woman yeah, is not paid enough mm. to sell her soul anymore <laughs> so Lydia, what's happening I to this office? Yeah, I uh, didn't miss any TV. Maybe they didn't get me. They didn't, phone. they didn't yeah. organize. I, I, I always turn up. The uh, Prime Minister's office, Lydia. Mm. What has happened to the Prime Minister's office? Oh, you, you are not privy to uh, the wars in, in that office? Tell me. Uh. But she wants us to discuss now the bedbugs in want? France. No, we should start with the most pressing issues. Because the bedbugs in France are the only thing that is more pressing. No, than no, they, they are two, they are two, two, <laughs> two serious parties. Hey. <laughs> Honorable Semenjo. Yes. I don't sit at that so. PM's office. I don't know. <laughs> but you're the head of women's league. Yeah, so, I, 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 why police? No, I, I don't now, know. Tell I me. I am now running. Uh, I am now running. Yeah. That actually for the TV show to which I was told that Donna Rebolidia had been invited and she didn't show up she said she didn't know that I even <coughs> but oscar uh, so let me pose the question to you now me uh, i don't even need a question oh just tell me to start <laughs> just tell me to start okay start yeah. <coughs> Lydia, your microphone is off. You said you don't know. Don't so, uh, <laughs> Honorable Sam, would you start? Mm. But just to, for purposes of helping uh, Lydia, mm. who maybe has not been in the country, the story starts with the government sending two delegations to the UN. Delegations that were big. One by Arupo, 51 members. That delegation later was surprised when they saw Nabanja, as you know her, also descending on, on, on New York with another de- delegation of 21. Uh, as, as a result, as a result uh, when Nabanja was being asked on a radio, local radio station, she said the delegation was not big. Um, that Kasule Lumumba, the Minister for General Duties in her office, had gone on her own and Nabanja did not clear her as a prime minister. Later on, um, these cartages went for NRM meeting in the state house, NRM caucus. And for me, that's where the story starts. A vice president under the constitution of Uganda is a president in waiting, which is the reason uh, Rumsfeld in America refused to vote for McCain. He said, you can't bring uh, an amateur to be your vice. Because that vice is a, is, is, a, is a president in waiting. So the treatment of Museven, the way he treated the vice president and Nabanja during the NRM meeting, tells you that none of them is in that position. All how the MPs seated. He how did he say, treat them? Mm. St- with all the cartesh, and he was there. Seated there, he says, Arupo, tell us, how many people did you go with? Your Excellency, I went with the two personal assistant and my guard, sit down. Nabanja, how many people did you go with? Uh, Katesh, you can say that I am lying. 
you are just dramatizing us. No, no, but the, the information is what happened. In what? But yeah. that's that. Sit down then. Yes, Nabanja, stand up. No. Uh, your Excellency, <laughs> I went with the PA, uh, but they also are the Ugandans who wanted to be accredited. We found them there. That's how the delegation became big. So here we are not discussing a vice president and uh, and uh, vice presidency and, and and prime ministership. We are just discussing individuals who are stuck there. Because I mean, how do you treat a vice president like that? That you go in a meeting where, where you have all manners of MPs, mm. and you are making uh, one after another. Stand up, tell us, sit down, another one, stand up. Mm. So for me, <clears throat> that's a point I made, uh, and Oscar, at the risk of repeating myself. I visited Professor Apollon Sibambi when he was a Prime Minister. That time I was a journalist. And Sibambi told me that uh, he had participated in choosing who the Minister of General Duty would be. He told the President, I want Professor Mondo Kagonyera, who is at the same level of academic qualification, who will not be intimidated by my qualification, because from what Nsiwambi told him, the Minister for General Duties in the office of Prime Minister, the job is to run the Prime Minister. Nsiwambi actually told me that uh, the reason you don't see any paper here, Kagonyera Kiria has every document. The Prime Minister is too busy even to read. Mine is broad guidance. He said, Kagonyera tells me, I have read, sign. I haven't read, don't sign. And he said, the documents are never here. For me, they bring to sign, they go away, or they say, wait, we are still reading and consulting. Said for me, the Minister for General Duty was to run me as a Prime Minister. Say so that I chair meetings, I meet investors, I do this and that. So I asked myself, Nabanja herself was shocked with the appointment. <laughs> I know for a fact she called, she called a, a friend and said, because she was in Kakumiro. Yeah. He said, do I come to Kampala at midnight? No, no, don't come, you will come tomorrow. <laughs> when, when she was appointed. She called me and sent me a message. Because Nabanja and I and Ogwang, we had formed a joint front to fight Kadaga, who was taking over management of political parties in the last parliament. And Kadaga was unfairly removing commissioners. So I had worked with Nabanja. I knew her. And everything that I said, I didn't say it in bad faith. Having worked with her and known who Nabanja is. I, and Museven likes it. That's how you remember the talk that uh, he appointed... Uh, this guy was Chambogo Adiebo. Mm. That Adiebo was also shocked. He was at a Marua port and he was told you have been appointed a prime minister. He likes these things, praying with serious matters. So it's the same when Abanja gets appointed. But so the point it, I am going mm, to Oscar. Mm. If you are appointed that way, it means there was no discussion on the revaluables, on, on conduct, on everything. But also, I highly doubt that Nabanja ever discussed Kasui Rumumba as a choice like uh, Nsiwambi discussed Kagonyera as a choice. And therefore, you yourself, you have been shocked. Either Kasue Numumba, very senior as Kateshi has, uh, has uh, elaborated, she's also shocked that she's now a junior minister whose duty is to run in Abanja. And can you imagine that of all the things they give you to run in Abanja? <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what she has said? The Prime Minister has said that she has hired you to attack her, you and Kavanda that you've been hired then by the who, former SG to who, 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 continuously <coughs> attack her. But in Abanja, Abanja was, fighting, mm. was fighting with Hilary Onek from mm. the very beginning. Hilary Onek even attempted to resign. Mm. The same in Abanja, when Oranya died, she told Parliament that my brother here had told me that I need to work with the people because I was fighting with the Deputy Speaker. The Deputy Speaker then was Anita Mong, and she said it on record. So you mean I was hired by Hilary Onek, hired by Anita Mong, hired by Kasule Lumumba, hired, then I will be a very rich person. So, but for me, <clears throat> she must find a uh, scapegoat. So I think Nabanja, uh, as I said, maybe uh, I, I'm trying to find now a politer way of, of dealing with her. But uh, her training as an RDC, uh, her background, if M7 wanted to appoint her, you create a ministry for political mobilization. She will fit there. I have traveled with Nabanja as an MP, and she sits on the window of a parliamentary bus to go waving at voters. As a prime minister, you have seen you are in a Teso quarreling with the people, distributing money in Kayunga everywhere. She, I don't want to say she's uncultured, but she's not fit for that job. For God's sake, train her. And then the constitution says 
the job of prime minister is to coordinate government programs delivery of social services to the country so nabanja is a ceo but we are stuck with her these ones who are nrm can't say these things but quiet today they tell you almost all ministers because we interact with with each other you don't know how ministers fail to be told that nabanja will be your supervisor amama mbaba has had his own problems very proud person but you saw a prime minister even by way of walking <laughs> that this is a prime minister he, he no, no i'm just now talking about uh, mbabas oh. not nabanja <laughs> so and seven laughs you see they go in a cabinet meeting and he laughs at his own appointment he says nabanja oh leave her she is a fisherwoman <laughs> and he's laughing and then you unleash her to go and do so therefore this quarreling that you see uh, i said the uh, on nbs and i want to repeat that seven never assembles a cabinet to deliver on anything that's why you see the mismatch. Chris Valiomuns with a master's degree in, 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 in medicine, he will be minister for ICT. And then Mohanga, or oh, former MP for Zimbabwe, Anifa Kawoya, they are the ones in health. So one who is knowledgeable, his job is to move from one radio station to a TV <laughs> to speak. Then you find uh, <clears throat> an economist, uh, former police woman is in charge of land. You find generals of the military like... Uh, um, Mo, uh, David Mohozi, former army commander, um, JJ Odongo, former army commander, they are not the ones who are in defense. Same Pija from Masaka, my friend, who can't even run Muchaka Muchaka, is the one in defense. So he does these things with, with contempt. He simply cares, doesn't care about the country. Because you are, sent, you are assembling a team of ministers to deliver on something. But M7 assembles a cabinet, and the first thing he does is to laugh at it. Mm. It's just entertainment for him when he sees Nabanja scattered. The other day, Oscar, let me tell you, the person who was in charge of Nabanja's security had to run, almost fight with her. She was going to Chiembe to see a Teira. And he said, please, you can't go there, you're a prime minister. They had to get him seven to be involved. He said, no, no, no. Now you can call the Teiras to where you are. As a prime minister, you can't go to Chiembe. And she's a Chiembe woman. And then you appoint her a prime minister. And you guys are on the radio, Rambastinga. <laughs> That's what she can do as, uh, as a prime minister. I'll, I'll have to invite her here to face off with you. Uh, <laughs> I hope she will come. <laughs> Nanfi, I don't even know where to start the question now. No, don't we ask questions now. We can't answer. We can just answer. Oscar, I don't, I don't even think there's anything mm. new we can say about this situation. Mm. Hold on. Let me pass it. Oops. <laughs> but it takes... A very, very cynical person, a very mean person to the point of evil, to assemble a cabinet like one we have today. And you see, people like to say anyone can lead, but that's not true. There is good leadership and bad leadership. Anyone can, uh, can, can ascend into power. Anybody. But why do you want people to be there just to take up space what is the role of a prime minister what is the rationale what is the whole reason why we go for these UN assemblies because none of these people has even talked about anything they did anyone they <coughs> met any results even the president himself is not asking those questions he's busy asking about the delegations that is where we are and I think President Museven is a very very cynical person he acts like his grandchildren are not going to remain in this country once he's dead because he acts like the day he leaves power or dies, this country shuts down. So he has to use scorched earth policy and leave everything in shambles. I don't even think it's, it's, it's fair to lambast Nabanja. It is like getting a five-year-old and taking them to, to, um, to operate on, on a cancer patient and then start criticizing their results. How about the person who asked the five-year-old <clears throat> to operate on a cancer patient. For me, that is where the problem lies. Because as a president and as a person who heads a party, where these people come from, who has been with them for so many years, 20, 30 years, you know these people. You know their strengths. You know their weaknesses. And yet you put them into positions where you know their competences don't lie and then sit back and laugh. And the rest of the country is at ransom because... You captured the power 
and you're not going to let it go and they're stuck with you. You've used everything in your power to remain in power, to cling onto it, and then just do everything in your power to ruin the country. Where is the sense in that? I don't even think I have anything to add to what Semuju has said. Mm. Because another person would say, oh my God, I put in place these incompetent people. We are in a country where I, I doubt whether Patricia there can tell their daughters, I want you to grow up and become Nabanja. But, but, uh, or Lumumba. <laughs> or Alupo for that matter. <laughs> oh, at this point, even, even we are no longer even telling our children school. to grow up and become President but, okay. Museveni. But, uh, but, uh, because but, Oscar, at the end of the day... Oscar. Katesh, you had time to speak, you did not. You, so don't waste our time. You, you, no, I want you to go back to your course one. I want yes. to give her information. And, and, mm. You see, we shall talk uh, after. Katesh, should also say, uh, now he's seated right mm. next to Semoju. So. Yeah, I, they, they are the same, uh, <laughs> but I don't know whether <laughs> the you are. The contamination is real. Okay, you yeah. go ahead and, 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 and tell me. You see, when someone <clears throat> is appointed, yes, the person who has appointed perhaps mm -hmm. has got KPIs or deliverables they really? have given to these people. And Nabanja is the one going now, to... Now, for me, I, um, I don't know <coughs> the, the, the contract of appointment <coughs> and the deliverables, <coughs> but I think at the end of the day, the question is the assessment on the terms on which he was appointed by mm. the president. Perhaps you could be reading it in two lenses. Maybe there, is, there are strengths which no, the president see, the will fight of prime minister on a certain area. Strength, uh, and the, and then these there strengths are other would have areas. turned up three years, two years yeah. later. The we would be seeing some of these strengths. Let are me you, ask you, you, let me ask you, Katesh, yes or no? Would you tell your daughter to grow up and become Nabanja? But how can yes you ask or no? me such a question? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Exactly. In your hesitation lies the answer. No, my daughters don't want to be prime minister. No, 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 no. But you see, when you tell your daughters to emulate someone, you have four daughters. And I'm sure you're not sitting down any of them to tell them to be Anita Mong, Nabanja, or Rumumba, or Alupo. You're not. You know, <coughs> thank so, you, uh, Katesh, don't don't try uh, to defend uh, situations uh, that are indefensible, <laughs> because this is sheer common sense. We are not even getting into uh, the technicalities you. of this. Please. For you for to become CEO of MTN or Safaricom, would she even pass the the the, the aptitude stage? Maybe as a receptionist. She wouldn't. Even as a receptionist, she would struggle at MTN. Guys, so yeah. no, <coughs> let's, let's be Marcom realistic about these on, things. On, let's call on, out people on, who do think microphone. these things to us, to our country, because at the mm. end of the day, these are people in their 70s, 80s, 90s who are exiting tomorrow, and Katesh, you and I are still here for another 30, 40 years. So we are stuck with this. President Biden is standing again, Nafi. I don't know if you're <laughs> 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 he need a president. You know, the other day I saw a flashcard where they were instructing him on not even what to say, what to do. Enter. Yes. Sit down, stand up again, so, um, address this and sit down again, and then stand up, acknowledge this person and sit down again. I mean, you. if you're at that at, level, at can, can, can there are any more people at in this world who can leave? At least president doesn't reach that level. So but America doesn't be. need that. No, America doesn't uh, need that. The institutions yeah. are, are strong <coughs> enough. Yes. They don't have a president. But for us, run. without any systems, let me tell you, it's very, very cynical. <laughs> the, in fact, I think President Museveni has... a. <clears throat> copies of laws of power in he, in each room in, in state house where thank he just you. opens each thank, law thank and you, then goes through them <laughs> because that is how Malcolm. cynical he is Oscar we should so cross this you. topic and go to the next thank one you, thank you Oscar because, uh, um, <laughs> I, I have an uh, engineer innocent here he says I'm listening in from London good morning Oscar and gang uh, the show is going very well it's a very good show so far honorable lady is pretending like she doesn't know <laughs> Please kindly oh, donate her time to Honorable Semuju. The chairperson of Women's League. <laughs> <laughs> These are how Elena we are <laughs> <laughs> Lydia, Lydia has uh, tea in her mouth, so she'll yeah. respond after. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so Semuju said I should not ask a question. I should start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think, uh, Oscar, Oscar it, would be, it would be right to, to, to start where... Um, where where um, Nafi has has left off uh, in a more mm. um, reasonable this, this brutal way. yes. Um, By the way, last I, I think I think there's there's there's, there's, there's no doubt there's no doubt that there has been a sustained. Last week, uh, Malcolm a listener asked me. He said, "But but you know that Malcolm man uh, and Nafi, he's different from." I said, "No no no, he just just has better words." <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, maybe we just haven't found my my topic yet. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but but um, I think there's been a systematic and sustained assault on 
on institutions in this country. Um, there, there, there was, I think, a flattering to deceive at the start of, of this government that they were going to build institutions. And it was necessary because at the time when they came up, there was barely anything. Um, and, and so some formations took root. But these formations needed to, to, for them to be able to take off. They needed to, to maintain that kind of path. Um, but to, to do so, they would then become bigger than individuals. And that is where the problem was. That because I'm holding this office, then um, th the institution is bigger than I am. And sometimes the institution will tell me what to do. I, and I think our egos, as maybe as, as a, a group that had come from the bush um, and was settling into civilian life, failed to adjust to that kind of, of, of system. And so we, we saw the downward trend, a regress in terms of institu institutional building. And that's what we have now, that you have a, an office of the prime minister, which office, as uh, Honorable Semuji has, has alluded, has prescribed roles in the, in the constitution, is a position of eminence. There are certain things that you are above when you, when you take that office. We, we can't just say everyone brings themselves to the office. The office is supposed to do something to you. I remember in uh, some of the leadership, the early leadership classes would, would attend. They would tell you, when you, when you take, off, take new, a new office, even if it just means turning the, the desk um, to show that there is someone new in office, you turn the desk. But you also do so w without necessarily putting the desk at the door so then no one can enter because you're, you're, you're defeating the purpose of, of, of the office. Mm. So how does... Uh, our prime minister, current prime minister allow the office to shape her because that office was there before her it's going to be there after her um i i i, I want to believe that some of the challenges um are also stemming from the real infusion between state and party it's it's very difficult to tell the difference between the nrm party and the nrm government um no, the, the, because there the, the is an NRM women, um, and and the, and the, and you see, you see when 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 because 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 she has uh, Lumumba has held offices before Secretary General, but the one that that Nabanja seems to allude to is when she was Secretary General. Yeah. Don't bring your chadondo, you know, and 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 maybe I'm, I'm quoting uh, Nabanja because she's the one who has gone into the media. I haven't had uh, Lumumba's oh, side of, 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 of things. Uh, that, that one, I, I, I don't want to, <laughs> to, cow, to kowtow in, in, in that one. Um, but but she, she, so the, the focus is when she was SG. So as SG, um, ro, ro, the, the power that she amassed as SG in the party, and then she, becomes, she goes, goes into the government, and the, the, the legacy of being SG is going with her. Yeah. Maybe the, the, the power that she had amassed then goes with her because she's bigger than the institution that she was That's leading. I said I, 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 and, and at that point, I was, yeah. I was nodding, uh, I, only that it felt, it felt a bit abstract mm -hmm. when you were bringing it. And that's why they were talking about a uh, course work. No, I was uh, interrupted by saying you. But, but I think, I think, I think it's right. The that when, yeah, you, when you have a prime minister who is a CEO, what are you doing? And I think maybe we took it for granted that when Professor Nsibambi became, became CEO, I, I, things worked and we thought maybe you don't need to train anyone to, to take, on, take on this office. When Amama comes, he becomes super minister and he was both SG and, uh, and prime minister and, and did, seemingly did well. And we're thinking maybe everyone who takes, o takes that office There's will be able to. Dr. Rugunda. D uh, Dr. Rugunda did uh, yeah. well as, uh, as well. He had his, his critics, he, he, a different approach. But, but, but you, still, you still get the sense that there was a certain... The office is occupied. Yeah, the office is occupied. I, I, I think, I think now, <laughs> now the, 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 there's, that, there's that challenge. Um, uh, when when uh, Nabanja was, I think, uh, I think when, when uh, Lumumba was uh, chief whip at some point, mm. Nabanja was working uh, on uh, with the executive of the... So under, was working under who? Under uh, Lumumba. Today, the tables have, have turned. So how do you really, how do you supervise your, your, your one supervisor? Uh, or oh, even then, how do you supervise your supervisor who are supervising you in the party? And now, in, in, so, so the, the, those dynamics, they, they, they must be appreciated. And, and I think 
we, 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 when you analyze that situation, you get to really ab- agree mm. that there is a, a sustained assault you on institution should, building in, in this tell country. You, uh, for us in schools, this, this happens a lot when you have a former student returns as a teacher, becomes head of department, becomes deputy head. Mm. Happens mm. all the time. Mm. No, but yes. that uh, former student returns with competence. Yes. Yeah, you don't mm. pick from P6 to become headmaster. Your P6 dropout. Yes. <laughs> So, in conclusion, <laughs> so if you are, if you dared to give advice, uh, Malcolm, what advice would uh, 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 Nabanja take, I, Prime I, I, Minister, to resign? Mm. I, I, I think, I, I, I think, yes. I'll give, I'll give twofold advice mm. um, because w- one is from the perspective that she's in over her head. That that is one. Um, I, I think sometimes you accept where. Uh, where where your yeah, calling where, is the, not the frailty uh, and uh, yes and and then you you you, you, you and train it and and, and, and I, so, it. so from from that perspective that she's in over her head then maybe she she needs to 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 walk away and 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 find her strengths and focus on those from the perspective that she's not going anywhere uh, because again she didn't appoint herself and she will not resign um, if 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 our standards are anything to go by I, I think awareness. I think there is there is need for uh, 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 like what Nafi say calls self awareness to be able to accept your limitations, understand them, and begin to work from there. So, what support do you need to be able to run that office in the right way, in a way that is going to allow Nafi's daughters to want to be mm-hmm. prime minister, um, to want Katesh's daughters, <laughs> to want to be a pilot while also serving us as as as, mm-hmm. as prime minister of this country. Okay. Thank you. Uh, now Lydia has found something to say. Yes, go on. <laughs> no, you, you, you see, the, the why I could not talk in the beginning is I've been thinking through the, the contradictions which uh, we've not built in the multi-party dispensation. If NRM is in power, like the way it is now, there should be group teamwork, group responsibilities. The mm. I should be covering up the strength or the competencies of Katesh. Mm. So that NRM shines, mm. and N- mm. and and the cartel should be able to back up my weaknesses, so that NRM shines because we chose group politics. I mean, group politics of the NRM. So if I'm appointed to a position, my weakness should not be profiled. There should be people around me to build that NRM is delivering. Uh, and listen, I listened to you. Can you tie her mouth? So that I speak. Don't so that, that, that's the idea. biggest mm. challenge mm. that we have in the party. And uh, I, that, that's why I was thinking through. And I think I just show me like my body language. I'm like, we have maybe have this way the biggest uh, gap is, is that when there are problems, say this NRM, but NRM has not risen to the occasion to build teamwork so that you see NRM, you do not see the individuals you are talking about, mm. that we are able to plunge there. And build them. What has stopped us from building uh, cadres that can fit what you are talking about? We should build the people, but cushion them. Yes. If you have a former speaker in the office of the prime minister, and you have a former secretary general, listen to me carefully, and you have a former secretary general in the office of the prime minister, and you have a former chief whip in the office of the prime minister, Trouble. how can you now talk about weaknesses? Trouble. If it's And they are all NRM. Mm. So we should be seeing cushioned uh, strength. <coughs> yes. <coughs> I, I mean, you <coughs> see a sp- uh, someone who has been a speaker <coughs> uh, in the no. speaker's chambers for yeah. 20 years. Now before she became a speaker, let me finish. Before mm. she became a speaker, she was a, a minister, minister of, of, of uh, she was a minister of parliamentary affairs. Mm. She had been a minister of water. She had been a minister of communications. She had been a minister in the, in the ministry of foreign affairs. The best She's elder they now. have to cushion what the inner turbulence is 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 within the office of the prime minister. So what are you saying? So where yeah. did the rain start beating us? I'm I'm say, I'm sharing this so that you understand that uh, yeah we need to go back and work on teamwork because when you say NRM has failed, yeah, maybe you're right, but we we've deployed the teams <laughs> in this office. Yeah. Where are this and and we've actually deployed people that have been exposed and should be having competencies. Mm. You cannot tell me that if you have been a secretary general. Yeah. You've been a minister for parliamentary affairs. You've been a, a speaker for over 20 years that you cannot cushion mm. a team to de- the de- and to deliver the office of the <laughs> prime minister. So the and the, no, so charges individual merit. Yes. I don't know whether you get it. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is.
it's is individual merit in terms of political parties yes. Katisha, am i wrong no you are right you are right so no, so, no, no. so it's individual merit. but let me say this no let me say this so we no need to personal interest i hear you uh if you ask me i hear you maybe given an opportunity yes i'm a secular but given an opportunity i think we need to go back and say we deploy people and say guys this is a party thing you must go and work together go and cushion each other mm -hmm. go and build each other and if there are failures what do you usually do in chankwanzi wait we train people mm. we train people but so i think we've not done enough evaluation mm. and i think because we've not done evaluation we, 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 we don't go back we don't go back to say we delivered you people even even um, i can tell you this on air that we have ministries and some you have said this you have ministries that have five other ministers mm. you have a senior minister and then behind him or her are three four others but they don't they, they don't line up to say you ditches to be in parliament have mm. i told a lie that's true so that's sure that this team of nrms we've deployed maybe there's issues of coordination despite the the retreats or the trainings in Chiangkwanzi. Mm. So we need to get back and maybe draw a tool. But this is again politics. Mm. Politics by its very nature is about also individual shining. Mm. Some people could be maybe shining more than the deployment uh, institution which is NRM. So I hear all your complaints, but at the back of the mind, I've been asking myself, if we have 12 ministers in the OPM, how come that they cannot sit to, to, to deliver the NRM team, team. of coordination, of service delivery that even it ends up in the press the referee without and the, and and that, that said we do not lack advisors because in the ranks of our country after the president whom uh has made this song mm. there is a vice president of course they had the back ends with him but when such things happen of course they are lower they are higher people who should call these guys to order before the press you know puts us to the wall uh, we have re senior press advisors whose list Semuju works with. He's in the jacket. He has a list of the advisors. In that in that list or in your jacket, there is the former vice president. There is the former prime minister. I don't know former. Sir, I don't know who. The, the list is there. But there's also the current <sighs> vice president. I think quickly. Yeah, there is a but, uh, but so they can quickly. <laughs> they yes. can they can quickly <coughs> call on call on these people who are ideally in rank lower than them but also senior and they are right to say look this is how we the methods of work are including a mama including rubunda they are they are around they are in the government offices they can call these people because what is now being put on the spot it's not lumumba it's not nabanja it's the party okay. it's the government so they should call right. them to order and say guys we've been in these offices this is how we used to do it Mm. And then the challenge you have now, the challenge they have now more can than it did. Wait, wait, when the wait. NRM will call them. Wait, wait, be, before the NRM call them, be, because the challenge they have, unlike the Rugundas, the Latin Zambis, the uh, Mamas, is that for them, their work is on social media. The IT has now brought everything on the sitting room, on the tables. In the past, some of you would take maybe three hours doing investigation. These days, it's by a snap on his phone. So they have to be more cautious. And then finally, they are women. We can never run away from the fact that every public office you hold as a woman, the Minzani, the weighing scale to measure you to deliver or to be upright or not even to complain is much higher than <coughs> that of the men okay. because Robin Anabanja is the first woman prime minister we've had since independence. Mm. So that alone should be able to yeah, put us on our on our weighing cell to know that we should perform Kazibu. but also perform better. Yeah. So mm. that's where I stand hey, and I hear you guys. Hey, thank you. We'll do our best, but I really think that we now have enough people that can help these ladies in their offices to support them, mm. including Thank you, have held bigger Lydia, for before they went to the OPM's the office. You have Greens Kansime. You have Greens Kansime, a regular listener. He says, uh, Honorable Rumba should have declined to accept that portfolio. Mm. That is much in, that's uh, inferior than her previous appointments. But, uh, but uh, she agree. took it up. Yeah. Therefore, she must respect yeah. right Honorable Nabanja because she's not she the appointing authority. Mm. But uh, Oscar, yes. just a quick one. Just, uh, you we know, go for you the know what, uh, what, uh, what I fail to understand with people. You see, the first 
objective for all of us is to get into parliament. Mm. These appointments are secondary. But the problem, is, as I mentioned, is how do you manage power with or without it when it gets away? Because we have the former speaker of parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, right honorable. She's in the same office. Mm. But how come she has uh, fit in, you do not hear problems? So I think also we have to go back to individually how do you manage if you have been if you have been with escorts and they are pulled off and then you have to you, you, no no so so i think it comes back to the individual transition uh progression or, or, or getting back down and i think the main thing as the president has always emphasized it is how do we stay focused on the mission Otherwise, mm. if you start looking at what, what I was before what and now, eh? and now, then you will have these conflicts. Oscar, if, can if, I say something? <coughs> I, 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 I want to close. Is it? That, 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 that Number one, the parties involved, Nabanja, Lumumba, Alupo, are people anyone can say anything to. Yes. Number two, we are not fighting events. We are fighting party culture. In NRM, party culture is me first, Museveni second, the rest uh, come yeah. last. So at the end of that, no, the, you're you're the ruling party. So every day, this these are the, the, all this evidence is in the public. Okay. Party Uganda FDC. Someone you leave us. So Oscar, let them not sit here and masquerade and and pretend that Kadaga can call Nabanja as a senior person can call Nabanja and Nabanja even listens to her. The truth is, with NRM, and this has been a deliberate policy by the president, toggling these people, messing up with their leadership roles and their hierarchy, to, to create a situation where it's like uh, making Semuju's daughter, Semuju's uh, um, super, Semuju's supervisor. And that, the moment you start messing up with hierarchies, then you make it impossible for Semuju to even start uh, saying anything to the daughter in case there is a problem. Because Semuju now at this point is protecting their position, their power and the money. Because when one's stomachs are involved and people are looking at their stomachs, the rest is thrown out of the window. And that is a culture of NRM. And that is the culture of this country at the moment. People just think about themselves. So no, Kandaga is not going to risk her position to enter into the, 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 the messiness that is the Prime Minister's office. She will not. Okay. <coughs> as they let's, say. Let's, let's stop for a break. And after the break, we move. Welcome back from the break. It was... Uh, Nanfi, we are back on, on air. It was uh, quite a noisy break, it was. So, Honorable Semuju, yes. yesterday uh, uh, I watched a bit of television and uh, saw that FDC had a delegates conference. And uh, we also had elections. Um, so, how did that happen? How did they end up having that election and why are people complaining about Justice Sekan? Or should I say why are a few people complaining about Justice Sekan? Mm, uh, you see, the <coughs> we called for delegates conference on 19th. Mm -hmm. Police stopped us. 19th September. 19th September. Even court under Justice Esther Nambayo issued an order. For that time, Nanda and Amuriat sued themselves. And the, the, the order was supposed to be uh, enforced on them. Yet they are the ones who are stopping the delegates' conference. <laughs> so for us, we went ahead, held the delegates' conference, and uh, extended the term of office for six months to have elections. They also announced uh, what initially they said was a meeting. But I think after reading the FD's constitution, they realized that a meeting cannot elect, uh, because the constitution said the chairman should call a meeting to elect members of NEC. So they went ahead. I am one of those, by the way, the, the dominant view in, in, in the FDC to which I belong was that we don't go to court. Really, it's, it's, it's worthless. And I said, no, 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 these things are important. When Seven lost elections to Sam Kutesa in 1980, he also went to court and went to Luero. So he did two things. He registered a case in the court and then picked AK-47 and ended up in Luero. I said, they need to be on record because tomorrow I don't want someone to ask me, why didn't you go to court? 
So we went to court. It was a drama. First, just Sekana said, you come here at midday. At midday, we are there at one, uh, at two something. We were ushered into his offices. I think the lawyers call them chambers, not the court. And then he said, I have commitments at three. I must be out of this place in 20 minutes. Look, I say, no, no, we have two issues. We have uh, an application for an interim order and an application for a temporary order. Why don't we say, no, no, that's how you disturb court. You have 20 minutes. So he was hostile, but expected. Because I think Rukwago was the one who was telling us, please don't, we don't go to court. Me, I say, no, I need to go to court. I will go to every formal institution and register there my complaint. They don't deal with it I, because uh, there will be a time to do a roll call. Museven is not going to stay in power forever. I don't want to look for people to take to New Zealand if you can't find them. I told my friend Ogwang that when we take over government, your warrant will, should find you at the gate, like I mean, did. When I mean, he was overthrown. Soldiers, including Brigadier Sebagala, were driven to Wurange and then to Luzira. So the guys in Luzira said, uh, but uh, no warrant to detain you here. So one military man say, called and said, no, no, the warrant will come tomorrow, just detain. <laughs> so they, they were put in, so I, joking, I, I, I keep telling Ogwang that uh, when your government ends, the crimes that you have committed, just walk to Luzira Gate. I will process the warrant when you are there. But the point is, uh, uh, that aside, I am one of those who said we need to go to every government institution. Not that they will rule in our favor. Because we notified the police. They say, no, we will not give you security. Then the following day, they were on the street uh, chasing us. We went to court. When Nandara went to court, in one minute, he had an order stopping us. For us, the judge was not even willing to listen to us. But eventually, he did quarreling. And he said their meeting can go on. So what went on yesterday was was another delegates conference of the FDC. Same FDC, two delegates conference, two sets of leaders, all orchestrated by Yoel Museven, who, like a, like a, like a, like a Chinese and like our neighbors here, he wants to create opposition parties that are royal to him. Um, I have met a colleague, I don't want to keep mentioning this country, they, they will be angry with me. The opposition parties in that neighboring country are all put in place by the ruling party. They are facilitated um, for, for opposing government. So that's what M7 is assembling and uh, part of the reason I've been fighting, I thought that I can save the FDC, but the direction that is taking, I now started to doubt whether I can succeed. Because having invested so much in taking over this party, we are no longer fighting with Nanda and Amri yet. We are actually fighting with M7. That's why police will say don't go. They will come at Katonga. They will do everything that they are doing. So the M7 faction yesterday sat and uh, renewed their leadership. What is now awaiting them is to go and uh, renew their allegiance to their sponsor. That's what happened in summary, Oscar. Mm. Yeah. So the positions that in your delegates conference that you had for six months, what, what happens to them? Nothing has changed. Hmm. Um, but if you want to know the story of the others, DP and UPC, they went through the same journey. In fact, for them, they were lucky. UPC succeeded even in court. Um, while we were here and uh, this guy was a uh, UN undersecretary. Uh, Oraro Tuno. In fact, courts ruled in their favor. But M7, at that time, through Kaihura and through Chigundu, said they are recognizing Akena, who had lost even in court. For us, the situation is different. At least we have lost in court. But them, even in court, they, they, they registered wins. But M7 said, no, 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 I want so and so recognized. In the case of DP, same story. Uh, I remember when DP, first time, I think 2015, if I'm not mistaken, 2012, I think 2013, they went to court challenging the election of Leighton Subuga as the Secretary General of DP. Court said no, he had been irregularly elected. Mm. The Mao group went and applied for stay of execution and then appealed. And uh, up to the case hasn't been concluded. Those are many years, 2013. So there is that frustration, which is deliberate, but also the seven hand is there. Uh, so we are now fighting uh, hard. But it's a fight that because the formal recognition, recognition is done by state institutions, electoral commission, uh, court, 
and uh, from the treatment of Sekana, the way he treated us, I am not one of those who will walk to his court again. Because otherwise, I, I, I am going to say things for which he will send me to jail like my is. Because how do I come to court and you are telling me that you have 20 minutes as if you are in a, in a private uh, law firm? Because we pay you as a country to listen to us. So we have appeared before. And me, by the way, I've been fighting. I remember Mukwana Son when he was an academic register. I was a student. I had started writing for Monta. So I walked to his office and Mukwana Son tells me to go. And I said, I'm not going away. This is not your home. You have to do this. And I was a student, second year student, now facing academic register. I had to remind him that this office is a public office. You are not in your home. You can't chase me. So, so I don't want to say, I don't so want to say, no, no, I have to keep reminding people. <laughs> if you are a judge paid to listen to cases, you cannot tell me you have other commitments outside your office and I have 20 minutes. You don't want so, to be disturbed, uh, 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 get out. A final question to you. Yes. Did, did your chairman Bigwa, attend the, the, the delegates conference? But he was the one in the court quarreling because under the FDC constitution, only chairman can summon for a delegates conference. Only. He was in court saying, but I am the one who is supposed to summon. Uh, my power has been taken. And Sekana said, you are all acting uh, for selfish interest. You are acting in bad faith. Go away. <laughs> and, and now we have Jack Sabiti as the new uh, chairman. For the M7 group. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Navi. Seven Arabi. Mm. Ostka, which 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 part of the post mortem do you, you, you want you me to start, start, like, with start without <laughs> there is no question. Are we treat are we treating the body? Focus on the liver. The liver. <laughs> are we saving anything? Because you know we could transplant some of these parts into more alive parties. But um yesterday wasn't any better than the rest of the year for FDC. And um, like Sam Chair said, you're now fighting the state machinery. You're not going to win. And I think I, I should tell the same Jews this. But like Sam Jews says, now everything they do is just so that they, did, they, they, they show that we did our best. Because at this point, I think Nandala's career is dead. Um, it's, it's he has just been re-elected. Mm. Uh, yeah, general. that is the, that is the uh, th that's for the short term. It's like saying Akena still has a political career. Mm -hmm. he, he doesn't, and uh, neither does <coughs> Nobat Mao. And now they properly morph into President Museven Stooges, and um, end of story. I, uh, I I I don't think there is anything more. And 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 I I I, I credit the same Jews for trying. I'm disappointed with Sekana. Uh, he used to be a better judge than that. He, at the beginning of his um, bench career, he used to make sense actually. But like they say, power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. So to see him being used by the state machinery as a pawn in their game uh, is disappointing because by the time President Museveni is through with us, we are not going to have any intellectuals or sensible people. He will have turned even those into caricatures of themselves, which is a sad thing to watch. But uh, that said, um, we, as we all know, the FDC is over. There's nothing to salvage at this point. Even these discussions about them are very redundant. I don't think we need to, to, to stretch this out. Yeah, but we don't stay at the graveside because at this point we are, we, we are um, uh, loitering around the graveyard. <laughs> So, so to speak, I don't think there's anything more to add or deduct from this. I think Semuju and 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 Tim, um, especially Besige, need at this point to sit down and create their own party. And I, I think it's ironic to be just from your own party <laughs> for the case of Kiza Besige. <laughs> but uh, I sympathize with him, and and <clears throat> they need now to sit down and move from post mortem to an inquest. Uh, in most developed countries, especially the UK, there is an inquest when someone dies. Even when uh, what killed them is unknown, there is an inquest. The purpose for the inquest is to find out how did they die and how do we stop this from ever happening again. Not to find anyone culpable. If they find someone culpable, then it becomes uh, an, um, a criminal okay. inquiry. But for the inquest, so now Semuju and um, Kizabe CJ and team need to see and um, Birigua need to sit down. Number one, what role did they play? Especially um, Kizabe CJ, what role did he play? 
in FD, in the demise of FDC then uh, I think they need to make decisions should they start a new party because let me tell you if they set an offshoot party it will have a better chance than uh, this defunct FDC that is now an offshoot of the NRM because in the next two months uh, Nadala is going to be a minister and then we'll say now we are working together as a country because we have to put country before party and then um, <laughs> in the, uh, after, after six months we are going to see him uh, in Mbale with General Saleh Lydia Wanyoto here, uh, you know, throw a big fit to welcome him time, on board. Time, time and, will tell. And then, because when you yes, saw, yes. when you know the state missionaries at work, you know when Nandala told told um, people going to Katonga, the, no, to Najana Kumbi, that they better write their will, because if they go there, they are going to die. You know that person. He sounds like a Nite. It's they, they when when they start doing these things, eh, you wonder how they never learn from this. But Samuju and team, wishing to, you mm. all the best. Sit down, either create a new party or move on from mm. this. And Malcolm, uh, do you the think, story ends. Mm, do you think, uh, contrary to what uh, Nafi is saying and Semuju, do you feel that uh, maybe the, the <laughs> Najanan Kumbi maybe believe that they've rescued the party from Dr. Kiza Besije? Is this a kind of a coup taking the party back from Dr. Besije? I, I, <laughs> Oscar, I, I, would, I would love to. I'm grappling with, with this being the right thing to do, but with the wrong intentions. Mm. Because I, I think that the right thing about the move from Naja Nankumbi is to debride the FDC of the strongman leadership of Kiza Besije. But in the process, from the way where it looks, they are handing it over now to another strongman leadership in yellow. Um, I was here just thinking whether Katesh at the next election will be FDC, NRM, NRM, FDC, or independent um, as a guest. I, I think that, and it takes me back to, to, to the conversation around institution building, because I think this has been a long time coming, and maybe this is the post-mortem that um, Nafi was talking about that when you have the FDC start and rally around the one man that is Kiza Besije and he embodies FDC to a point that when he chooses not to run, then everyone is looking at each other and wondering, so what next? Where, where are we headed? When um, the, the, the party appears to... When, when, you, when the party appears to then, and actually I think at that point was, was a point for party building. When the strong man is out and now everyone else can coalesce and begin to build structures, institutions that are going to run this organization with the, that, that, that person out. When the person comes back, again, probably he was needed to rescue the party from where it was going. That again tells you that the institutions hadn't been formed that would keep the party on the path where it is where, where it was supposed to go um and so once you have that kind of strongman leadership that is devoid of of, of structures of accountability um e even when when someone else gets into that office they are going to have to find themselves doing the same thing and when they do that when they do that they probably even do it worse than the other person because the other person might have had uh, the, the ethos of the party formation in the in the beginning. They knew why it started, where it was headed, and 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 what was supposed to deliver. So even even as they misbehaved uh, through that strongman leadership, they did so with a clear mind. Now someone comes in who doesn't have the clarity of 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 um, ethos, but occupies this office that gives them. Uh, that that allegedly gives them that kind of uh, of, of of power. So I, I think that it is a point of reflection, not just for the FDC, but for all political parties in this country, um, and and the NRM being one of them. I, I think that, but for the fact that NRM is in government at the moment, we would be facing very similar situations. And Lydia will hear, will be here and hold my hand and tell me, no, when, if anything ever happens to our party president, our party chairman, then uh, there, 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 there are others in place. But we all know what is going, what is brewing behind the curtains. 
be it the Muhozi project, be it the seniors in Otafiri and others, be it the juniors uh, who are always rebels here and there. They, they, so the, what? how are we building political organizations? And and again, maybe these are just the, the labor pains of the, the process of forming strong institutions. But at what point do we reflect on that more than uh, the individuals that are involved? Because come tomorrow, they will be gone. Uh, Jimmy Akena and, and company, uh, when you mention UPC, you don't quite associate it with them anymore. It is, it is more history than, uh, than, than, than present. Yeah, that, that, that's my submission, Oscar. Mm. <coughs> Can I add something onto what he has said? Eh? You see, when you see NRM, it is, there's, there's no difference between NRM and FDC. Same thing, strong man, devoid of structures, no systems in place. And the only difference is that NRM has positions to bribe the disgruntled, money to buy them off, and uh, the state to punish those who, you know, dare to even, um, and then also they don't have any, their enemy buying off the leadership. Mm. So that, that also helps. But at the end of the day, this is typically the typical uh, multipartism in Uganda, and this is what it has been for the last 30 years. Unfortunately, when uh, the current leadership is over, we need to go back to the drawing board and start from scratch. Because even the young people who have watched multipartism, you see young people in NUP, you see young people in FDC, why are they there? most of their reasons are self-serving. Most of, most of them don't even know that a party has to have an ideology. For example, if you are conservatives, we are not going to support um, homosexuality or transgender. If we are democratic or liberals or forward, and then at any given time, the chance is given to the people who, who have more political um, capital among the population, po political legitimacy, and this comes through elections. But now, all <laughs> that does not apply to this country. Mm -hmm. Everything, the leadership, the political parties, the politics in Uganda is just gimmicks. So uh, <coughs> if, with gimmicky politics, but Oscar, we need to nothing be... has been built see, in a way of <coughs> democracy and in a way of multipartism. Maybe we have, we have just gotten uh, the bad stories to learn from. But building political structures and building politics and building democracy in this country for the last 30 years, that hasn't happened. Yeah, but just, that's something small. So you see, the, the FDC had systems and structures. Called VCG. No, no, no. <laughs> they, they simply have been overrun. Um, but also, where, I mean, the point you make is a legitimate point, but it doesn't apply in the Ugandan circumstances. The matters of ideology are now a luxury. <laughs> because... People are motivated to do what they are doing just because they have to deal with the crisis. When the crisis is over, then we can join the parties on ideology. At the moment, it is just dealing with the crisis. It's a house that is on fire. Yeah, but, uh, but uh, Semuju, <laughs> don't underestimate the damage <laughs> dealing with the crisis causes. War ravages a country. So while we are ravaging the country, we have to be mindful. And people like you, I think the, what, what they could do now is what uh, how to prepare because otherwise when this leadership uh, uh, is, is over we will waste another 20 years and that is a lifetime for some hey, okay. Oscar, in, in my in my uh, <coughs> earlier uh, political my my political career very short Which lived, one? very short lived i i ran for guild speaker at makere and i and the words that uh, honorable semuju has mentioned i hadn't had since then mm. uh, about ideology being a luxury I, I ran for, for, for guild speaker and uh, I chose to wear a white shirt yeah. to, ma to the campaigns. Um, and I was running against... To show uh, what, purity? Against um, this gentleman. He's now, he's now the NRM. He's, with the NRM, he's in uh, East African... Um, Midday. Uh, in East African Parliament. NRM. Yeah, Namara. Dennis. Yeah. Dennis Namara. For, and he was running for FDC at that time. Uh, which tells you again w where our politics uh, starts from. But the, the point I am trying to make was that when he stood up to speak, he was blue. I don't remember the one who stood up to speak as green, as yellow. But when I stood up to speak as white and I said, for me, the issue is not the colors. Mm. The issue is what we are going to do. And this is how I was, I, I was told that that ideology is, is a luxury. 
at this point you either belong here we can't trust you if you don't belong here there or these white things we, we don't trust <laughs> and that was the beginning of the end of my political career <laughs> but 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 just just to comment just to com- just to comment very qu- quickly on on the on the case itself uh, and and the way it was handled i, I wow. think i i think that and sometimes there's a <coughs> bikanga muzamil says uh Oscar read the kind of ruling as a lawyer. Mm-hmm. His ruling is based on legal principles of corporate personality. <laughs> I <laughs> think Semuju, l- Semuju's lawyers made a mistake on how they went to court. Mm-hmm. Justice Sekana might be having his own issues, but on this ruling, he was right. Well, th- that is that is one one yeah, opinion. How um, you treat me when I appeared before your court? And and and, and I think I, th- I I well <laughs> I don't know if if, if Sekana should should uh, have your 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 feelings no. uh, you know protected <laughs> by by the court. <laughs> but but I think I think that w- what is important is the interest of justice. Mm. Um, we 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 know very well that Sekana has been activist in some of his rulings and has been praised for it. Why? Because he's going behind. Uh, what what the, uh, the apparent mischief uh, he's, he's going behind what 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 appears and he's trying to identify the mischief uh, and and that kind of activism is something that was being very well very welcomed in the legal fraternity um but i guess the, the it, it it probably brought him certain challenges as well um mm. again we, we must accept that because these are careers see, that people are building it, uh, Malcolm, maybe if you tell me that i am acting in a body faith because that's in the judgment mm. Under which law is that uh, uh, we were prescribed for a judge to establish that for me I'm acting in bad faith? The the part I have taken there. No, is I, not I acting. think I think that the, 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 because when you when you uh, you're seeking an equitable remedy uh, and and in law we say that uh, you must come to equity with clean hands. Mm-hmm. So the question is, are you uh, yeah, and, and, the, and, the, and the judge is the one who determines whether you have come with yeah. with, with so clean hands. I, I think the issue around around the corporate personality, the fact that they they sued the individual and and not the the uh, the, the, the the office of I, I think that 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 was curable. Um, the idea that uh, the, the delegates had already uh, come, there's money that has already been spent, and uh, those I, I don't think that we should sacrifice justice at the altar of expedience, at the altar of, of, of um, uh, financial implication. I think justice should prevail irrespective of the cost. Uh, courts tend to not want to interfere when, when things are political, are very, very political. We've had his history where court t- tends to shy away and, and finds a way of not interfering while interfering in, in in the long run um but i think that that the, the the there should have been an opportunity to hear both sides mm. uh and and rather than have uh, something happen that overtakes events and and then you begin to have have to work backwards well, uh, 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 thank you malcolm the, over to you katesh there's a gerald here says how can fdc scoff at nabanj and Lumumba? only that they are speaking better english <laughs> well, first of all, uh, where do we start from? I think now f- officially, mm. officially we have uh, two FDCs, and uh, I'm as I've been here lo- listening to Semujo and uh, think about Amriat and his group, and wondering who had a very good sleep last night, which camp? <laughs> because I watched last night the the other camp was swearing in people, and immediately I started thinking about this other camp which seems to be uh the original the original because all the big guns are on this side now they cannot they cannot uh, and for me what what continues to surprise me and disturb is that all the problems of these parties this party particularly they come around and instead of proper diagnosis like uh, like uh, my colleagues have advised it here. They zero down on blaming President Museven and NRM. Of course, of course, we have our own problems. And of course, we are in politics. So the more we can get other people on our side, the better. We should not be blamed for that. If you have failed to attract us into your party because of radicalism, that's not our problem. And so, whom have we bought? Nanda. This party has they, they ate themselves internally. No. They, 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 it is very unfortunate. No, no, in, in listen. Fact, uh, I need to be protected. You are protected. She's you see, is on air. 
Demi. You see the uh, the, the is, part uh, a message here greens can see me on Twitter yeah. on X says what is happening in the FDC almost happened in the NRM party during the era of uh, Mama Mbabazi but, but because of strong leadership yeah. of Museveni he trimmed off their wings and the house was put back to order yeah it's political management so they have failed mm. they have failed to do no listen Nafi Na, Nafi give him and his chance. group mm. they anointed officer you started you put people whom you think you could control they have turned around and chased you out of the party it's a sad situation i myself feel that that camp even if they had elections yesterday they should not just thump the, our colleagues the kanyas and, uh, and amriat they should be they need to come down and understand that what they have done to chase away these other ones and of course uh, they shouldn't be celebrating Oh, if you didn't today, if you because been. you know even themselves history can repeat itself because the same president you are choosing i don't think he has changed he has now been given another term if he's bad his manners will continue before you know it they will also be split now mm. what is the way forward removing for me <laughs> removing how <laughs> now you are going to have two presidential <laughs> candidates <laughs> you don't have a way forward Actually, actually, what Nafi has suggested, Semuju, is because you, Katonga cannot enter Najanakumbi. None of you can step there. Okay? You have followers. As long as you have written, you, are you have to first go and so apologize I and so I say, we are sorry, we, we, we are ready to come back. You are like prodigal children. Now, what about the supporters? And now you have you have uh, uh, people wondering for us as NRM of course now we don't know who is going to be a presidential candidate representing FDC which camp what about in NRM mm. do you know the presidential candidate we, 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 yes. we are not in that confusion yeah. the party the, has no uh, but Katesh uh, you, you, you are a member yeah. of parliament yes yeah. Um, how how do they how will they sit you know in the opposition benches no they have not left they have not left the party they are still FDC members. Mm. They will re, they will remain in the party. And uh, mm. yes. you can only change affiliation in the last uh, year. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So they they are still our colleagues, and most of them actually, interestingly, almost all members of parliament of FDC. They are now in Katonga camp. And I think they have all been removed from their positions, apart from Mekanya and this man and from. Sibambi. And Sibambi and the gentleman from uh, Amarota they side, the the rest are our colleagues, yeah, yeah. and uh, and uh, so it is like the party has has chucked split. the MPs, yeah. they are so, members of parliament. So between now and 2026, I ask myself, do you even have capacity now to convince someone to follow? Now which group? We are we are just actually going to build our no, our strength as NRM. We, we are united by yeah. our desire. We, which you move myself uh, which you desire because you already uh, they cannot that's, that's hold you themselves can, you together. cannot build the, uh, the desire that's together <laughs> so you, you have made yeah. our, our mm -hmm. work easy as nrm we are going to do mobilization we have our own weaknesses but uh, we should not be blamed yeah. for your failure to manage transition okay. because you wanted a, a person there you put him there you pushed away the the, the Muntus. now the person got into power I, I, as we go for a break, I should say um, uh, Katesh really has enjoyed this submission. You know, he was presenting with glee. I that with this one, but you <laughs> started with, with the New York and the... Welcome back from the break. Uh, Crispy Kaheru says, uh, let's pray for all entities called political parties in Uganda. And he says, all of them. Um, so, Lydia, you're on uh, air. Um, maybe will you be the concluder uh, of this topic? You see, like last time I said, I said two issues. I said, uh, let's wait for six and see what happens. Mm. Then the second issue I raised, I said that as I speak, I, don't, I have to declare my conflict. In this studio, like maybe Katesh, I'm a member of the NRM party, but also a leader in the party. So when I'm talking about a sister part, I cannot, I shouldn't pretend that <laughs> I, I should speak with that in mind. But I talked about the 6th of October uh, to say in politics, we have the legal and also the perceptions and the politics out there. 
So whoever is able to balance the two, you can maybe like have your way. Like and and like Honorable Semuju has said. So what happens after yesterday? I think the work for the Naja Naja Nkumbi team. Their work has just started because politics is also number three is about numbers, about the legal. It's about the perceptions and the politics. It's just about two numbers. When I look at the profiles, maybe I'm right or wrong, of who is in the, uh, the, ka- the, the Katonga group and who is in the Naja group, I think they've balanced their national characters. So they have a lot of work to do in Naja because they have maybe the legal outfit, but also the, the politics and the, the, the politics of it, having seen what happened yesterday. Nobody climbed over the wall. Nobody did what. So it means like they have an upper hand in terms of the... No, no one signed the will. No one signed the will. <laughs> so they have an upper hand in terms of the what we are seeing, even at the electoral commission. Instead of even in the bank, when the Katonga group went to, to talk about their accounts, and you know that the quota has just released the money, government pays political parties money, who have members in parliament, they were not able to do anything about The accounts remained intact. Under the Treasury General, who is a Katonga guy, and also the Secretary General, who is a Katonga person. Those are the key signatories of any political party in, the, in, the, in, the, yeah, yeah, in political parties. So you have your SG and the Treasury General. So, wha- so they have the money also. Because that's also an important factor. You, who, can, you cannot. Who, who has the money? Now, Najana Kumbi has Na, the Najana money. Najana Kumbi has the money officially. Mm. Yeah. Because they have the accounts, they are the signatories of the accounts. And the Katonga was not able to to block or, or do anything about the accounts. So all I'm saying is that the worker begins yesterday. I think now the onus is on Najana Kumbi. First of all, to reconcile or to bring back their colleagues and say, well, we fought over this, but now what else can or we do together? Because them. I don't think it is all lost. Or to expel I think them. they still have their, yeah, yeah, their, blue, their blue shirts and their blue h- hat. So I, but it's not the work of the same Jews to do it. It is the work of the Naja, because Naja is also the official headquarters of the political party, like it is for NRM, who sits at plot 10. NRM is the house, that's the We have our official headquarters at they plot 10, Chad Dondo. Mm. So I, I, but um, my Malcolm, my point is that the onus is on the Naja group to begin the reconciliation process. Mm. To sit yeah. down and say, guys, after 6th of October, okay, you can forget them save any money. How? <laughs> then it will not come. But you have money from <laughs> government. <laughs> you have money from <laughs> government <laughs> which, which, which money you contribute because mm. the money is given by virtue of the member of parliament yeah. you have and you are one of them. For, for, for me, I think that uh, the Baganda say now if you have the legal on your side you have the headquarters you are there you have the accounts you have you, have you, you you've had a peaceful <laughs> you have had a peaceful <laughs> you have had conference. a peaceful yeah, uh, no delegates tea, conference no police, yeah, and, le- and okay let's yeah. say it in the cheek let's say it in the cheek you have seven yeah, yeah. because at the end of the day you need him seven in politics as an ally then you sit down and see how best you can work on. Because numbers, for me, numbers matter. Rebuilding new national leaders to replace Semuju, to replace all the people I've seen, it will take them longer mm. to 26. And the Semujus have okay. a stake. Why? It's because of them that there is a, a, a numerical strength on the budget that comes from government. So th- that's my own thinking, no, and like Lydia, I have said, Lydia, I, I don't that, have to say much about this be because rest. I'm coming from oh. you see, another Lydia, political Lydia party. Had 17 MPs, mm. now they have nine. I don't think their money broadly has gone down because the sponsor will pick money for anything. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So that hey. can be. Oscar, Oscar. I, think, I think it's also rich for before. Lydia. To advise people who have shown a total lack of integrity. (laughs) Like the the thing she's talking about of rebuilding the party, reach reach across the aisle to, you know, get the the, the people back because the numbers matter. Mm. No, they don't. Uh, Mao has no numbers. What matters is is the party dead from the purchaser. That is all that matters to them. And as long as the party is dead, the money will keep coming to the killers. So at the end of the day, um, 
Lydia, your advice is very uh, redundant. It is rejected. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I insist that. Well, it's on the table. You know that. It's, yeah. it's on yeah. the table. So, so, table is prime, prime for recruitment. Yeah. We, we are going to approach hey. them. No, somebody has too much integrity. We are going, we are yeah. going to approach yeah. them. You got to do what we're <laughs> saving now. <laughs> No, my Malcolm. debate was on what happens after yeah. 6th of October because yeah. there was something well, on 6th of October, October that we were looking at. The, the Moses Spear Hunger written a complete essay here. It says, uh, Malcolm has said that one needs to go to court with clean hands. I think the Lukwago group that went to court didn't have clean hands because they wanted to stop the conference so that Lukwago remains acting president. president. As other people have said on the show, let the Katonga group form another party. Imagine when elections come, uh, which group will nominate candidates? Yeah, Semuju comes as if DC candidate for Chira, uh, Najana Nkumi nominates another one. And they go back to court on who is the right candidate. So yeah, using Nafka's logic, the Katonga mm. group is behaving yeah. like a couple well, that has separated. Know. One has got a partner and wants to start a new relationship, yeah, the but the old partner that. wants to stop the new relationship. <laughs> ah. So... Uh, <laughs> So, Honorable Semuju, we let's go to the final topic of the day. Uh, we will, of course, wish uh, happy independence to the country. So, the president of NUP uh, flies back into the country and the police delivers him safely back home. Uh, Oscar, is that, is that how you want to be delivered to your home? <laughs> Oscar, I was delivered to the <laughs> nomination <laughs> table, mm. <laughs> and for me, I was unlucky <laughs> that uh, uh, midway the, the, the patrol ran out of fuel. <laughs> then they started calling. I said, Okay, let me fuel. I have money. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. Um, <laughs> you see, I, I am happy. I, I am happy and I want to congratulate the Honorable Chagoranya and no, Because Mr. Seven was parading his son that he had become now a darling for the youth, uh, including addressing rallies he had not organized. Uh, when he was in Bukede and Soroti, he went with the presidential chopper, with the presidential convoy, complete with the toilet. I thought the toilet was for the old man. This young one also went with it to show power. <coughs> Eventually, since Chagulani started his mobilization in the country, uh, and uh, whether it was intentional or not, I am very happy with it. You have not seen him saving his son paraded anywhere. Because by parading his son, we will now go and mobilize. Now I think he, he, he doesn't know what to do with his son's uh, mobilization. Because you allow your son, it means others must do the same thing. So since then, you'll, you'll not see Mohose uh, being paraded around. So this particular, this particular <coughs> return reminds me when M7 had just captured power. I was told by soldiers, one day M7 was uh, in a convoy uh, via town. At the tax park, he wanted to wave. They told him, he said, no, 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 you can't. And he said, you see, if I fear people that I am seeking to read, then I am not worth being a president. That a president is fearing uh, people is seeking to read. I mean, how can they say Chagulani is coming? I, I, I came to town via Kamo, because that's where I pass every day. Both ends of the road had been sealed off. There is military, including in Wayo Gerere. Military with the truck. I had forgotten that Chagulani. No, 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 Wayo Gerere. They are deploying everywhere. Mm. So we now have M7 who, who, who fears uh, the people he is leading versus the M7 of 1986 who was being stopped by his security from waving and he said, I cannot be a president of people that I am fearing. Now we have two M7s. This one here, I mean, young and foolish. yes, because how can, how can a, a return of Chagulani become such a huge operation, military everywhere and police and then they come to Parliament to Katesh's budget committee to ask for money for security classified. And that's how you stay in power. I, I thank God I told him seven when he was here that when he came to power, Uganda was a project. Now is the project. So the amount of money that must be made available to keep him seven in power 
I hope you are can fly out and fly back every day. <laughs> and then we say, yeah, we say that we are coming to, to pick you from Entebbe. If I had the money, I would send him now to Nairobi. Then we say, tomorrow we are coming to, to pick you from Entebbe. No, they get him from Magere to the airport. Yeah, then we announce that we are all coming him uh, from Entebbe. Uh, I'll, I'll go and ask Noob to do that. That mm. every day he flies somewhere, and then okay. military let's, let's everywhere. To, I, I actually walked to work on the day and hadn't understood why all that deployment until I I, I saw the yeah. news and social media. Mm. Katesh, uh, before you come on, there's a um, <laughs> message here from Stephen. It says this is my first contribution. Uh, what we need to do is rebuild our politics. Save from MPs on the show right now. The views of non-political actors should be encouraging and rebuilding. In rebuilding national leadership, we must champion leaders who stand not on the ruins of their opponents, but on the bridges they build. True leadership thrives on collaboration, not conquest. Well, democracy is about conquest. I believe the days of Machiavellism being an, an anchor of national fabric are behind us. So, you know, you are very much in the tourism industry, yes. Katesh. I was listening to you on the news. They could not arrest have been done better, maybe inside the building. When you do it on the tarmac, it well, kind of creates sensational news to the benefit of NUP. Whichever way you look at it, mm. the question is, what would you have done if Semju was in power here? Because, you see, we should not look at things as innocent as they look first of all in the last since the last elections and now uh honorable chagulani has been traveling in and out of the country okay he has been going and coming has he been delivered at home in the last in the last uh, no no since the last elections this is the first time since the elections ended and so we have to understand oscar that actually campaigns for 2026 have started and of course no and of course on one side every side has got its objectives the nrm which is in power and the government have got the responsibilities of making sure they maintain stability peace as the mandate goes on until the next elections. On the other side, the objectives could be continue mobilization but also disruption. And that one we, we know. No, let me tell you. You see, so, Oscar, you said, what is there a better way it could have been done? Mm. Perhaps yes, and perhaps no. Because this particular return, publicity. So, one, I, me, I commend even the, the, the person who has delivered that, you know, it went on, he went home, and security. But even if Semuju here was in power, and Katesh is, 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 is returning with this kind of mobilization that can be very disruptive, By you, could, you would have done even worse. More than 40 years ago. Yeah. Seven was allowed to address rallies in Uganda everywhere, but hasn't he been uh, 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 addressing rallies? No, no, he has said, Bob Wine has been addressing rallies. yeah. But you must, we are not going to go into that discussion of suspension. But so we're going he, to has been, he has been addressing rallies, yeah. And he they went said to you Barara. stop the reason you know, you know very well what, yeah, why because they the turn up was and big, so the so discussion should mm. be okay. For me, Thank the, you, the, he should not be disrupted. He, he can do his political mobilization. That is okay. As a party, we should be we should prepare ourselves on how to counter. But there should be a red line between political mobilization that is disruptive for business and that can disorganize the economy. And that one, the state has to take charge. Very bad Malcolm, leader. <laughs> as a, a, a legal person, was that the best way to arrest a person? <laughs> You're using the word arrest, mm -hmm. and I, I think you might be cautioned for that, <laughs> um, because as far as the spokesperson of the police is concerned, he he was uh, transported, simply being given a lift, oh. uh, an unsolicited one. Um, I don't know. I, I think this government has has failed to to learn from its its mistakes. 
um but but let me not make this about the, about the government let me try not to make this about the government i i think that um bobby wine certainly has a right to to movement um so when you're going to curtail that movement you must do so with good reason is it reason enough that you disrupt business by the way by deploying across the entire kampala um block certain roads cause traffic jam make a, make us kampalans lose a lot more money in the traffic jam so that you protect that that business of mine that I am now failing to make my meeting at eight o'clock because it wasn't announced before that this road, road would be blocked. Uh, it's now a ten o'clock meeting. I have missed my appointment. Why? Because Bobby Wine needs to be b- b- carried from uh, Entebbe to Magere. Um, I I I think <laughs> I think that's that's that, that, that it. it it, it it behooves um that we, we we must we must be looking at situations if you're going to say you're protecting business then protect business if you if uh, and katesh, katesh says that 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 he should be given chance to mobilize I, i've said on this show before that the, po- the the police is supposed to provide security so that we can enjoy our rights as individuals that is their role and for a split second when uh, bobby wine was doing his country mobilization th- we actually thought this might be possible but um clearly that was <laughs> that was a uh, was, was a bit of a pipe dream and here we are now if bobby wine's movement is going to create a, a, a problem on the road how can police deploy such that it is it is protected are you saying if everyone wants to meet bobby wine go and assemble in one place where we can be able to protect your your safety businesses safety but to stop it from happening without providing without because they are, they are supposed to be facilitating this it makes sense if they are providing alternative venues alternative but to block it all together um and uh, it it, it hey. yes because because this is what this is what happens when mk mm. is going to jog for his birthday uh, a, a, a birthday run for for mk mm. they 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 send out traffic you know and say we won't pass here don't pass okay, there but, uh, Marco. maybe they maybe they tell they tell bobby mm. wine if you want to return and have and be welcomed return on sunday when there is less business and we shall be able to welcome you and he defies that and then but then again uh, how realistic is that the police has shown time and time again um oh, go to I, Kololo I, and, and oh, have your right that, there i, I don't Kololo. think they can ever give him <laughs> uh, it, it maybe maybe because they fear it might be too small for his group um but but <laughs> I, I i always i always go back to mm. a moment in the 2016 <laughs> elections when and I'm, talk, I'm going to talk about you, Lydia. I go I go back to a situation in 2016 elections, just before the elections, when the or the, uh, the orange people were go forward, uh, were wanted to launch their political uh, uh, um, elections uh, campaigns in Mbale, and they were they were stopped. Yes, p- masses gathered, police uh, did the usual tear gas, and they were stopped. I think literally the following and day and early that was stopped it before we reached before we reached exactly mm-hmm. literally the following day in, in to, to to show that the people that had the masses that had gathered for Amama Babazi were small Lydia and and a certain group of women decided to mobilize in Mbale and held held a procession now the it, next day and and police police protected that procession without any any notice without any you know discussion about routes and everything and police was there and 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 deployed and the procession was successful mm. so i i think that uh, when when we talk about the government nrm when i say nrm party and uh, and the state there is no difference that's what i'm talking about that the the, the state functions are engineered towards promoting the party and not the country Okay. Nafi. Nafi. Mm. Oscar. Mm. I have said before. The thing about President Museven is very predictable. 
He's not a man of surprises. So he does the same things again and again for 40 years. And um so he probably how said, he has managed take that boy home. Uh-huh. Aha. Right? And and sometimes I'm curious who gives these who gives these orders because sometimes it's some like like uh Ofono told us it's some overzealous NRM wigs who who um you know because when when he did that mobilization home. tour it ended finished yes they 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 they, they, <laughs> ra- they run past their home and as he rightly puts it sometimes if we if we left uh the, these processions to go on maybe they would die down but mm-hmm. i think the fear with the ruling party is <coughs> then they may become a norm and every time is coming back they collect and the more numbers collect uh we've seen uh you know uh, presidents fall by numbers of people running around one individual and um don't be fooled that president Museven and the and these cartation was around him don't know that the country is a mess and that people are disgruntled and people know that they could do better so any rallying force i see some elite people saying oh would bobby wine be a good president he wouldn't he doesn't know economics and all but i think even to the most brilliant mind we've moved past that stage we are now at the point where we take whoever is there who has taken the risk if a, a more brilliant person comes along please feel free to you know take up the mantle but at some point i think the government and president musebe has realized that people will rally <clears throat> behind anyone governizing them to get rid of him so what does he do he's 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 become paranoid typically all people is age paranoid but he is um extra paranoid So he's he's worried the culture and every time Bobby Wine comes back but uh to say that um they're worried about the disruption to businesses Oscar I work near um in Kololo here my office is um near in Kololo mm, the okay. Kololo airstrip mm. and this week alone we had four days we call it of the chigreen truck no warnings no prior and these are businesses that they are disrupting so you have to you know go round and then you find out that they are doing repairs on ginger road so you have to continue to lugogo and this is you who had reached kololo and they're not even bothered by disruption i mean mohozi closed roads to celebrate his birthday this is the major highway so let's not pretend that this government cares mm. about it in, in fact i'm sure they're convinced that there are no more businesses running in this country since they've run they've they've put policies in place that have ruined any any chance of running a, a good business in this country so everything they do is um for their own um clinging on to power so this 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 is not surprising okay. and i think um who wins from this kind of decision i think nup because at the end of the day they are in the news and uh for a political party and a political leader no news is bad news at least it keeps you relevant and uh the people and keep the news remembering for free. you mm. exactly yeah Ke- kev on twitter on <coughs> x says on a daily basis the express way and northern bypass are shut down mm. for about 30 minutes for the president to pass is that considered acceptable disruption or people who miss flights are uh, they well compensated so lydia closing uh this topic and the show now what and wishing you? listeners uh, uh happy fa- independence uh, i would like to to wish all our listeners beginning with the gangsters that monday 9th october is going to be our 61st independence and uh, national venue is chitugum Uh, district in actually sub region so i wish everybody a very happy independence and uh, uh blissful reflections but on uh, an excitement not on my side i hope i'll live t- till monday is also my birthday i'm one of those ugandans that is born on 9th of october so it will be my mm. my birthday um on what you've said i i think oscar with the, your campaign and other people's campaign about infrastructure we will at some point be able to uh, have uh, traffic and management of uh, civil military yeah, they call simic mm-hmm. civil military relations improved but also with better communication and these conversations are not in vain once in a while people listen to us and they'll be able to streamline including the business community mm. of kololo Kololo now has more evening meetings than day. Day time is normally quiet, but evening is a hub of <laughs> of evening uh, activity, but uh, those that have uh, uh, offices 
you have been heard. You have. Uh, uh, they, they will, but they, but root, roots are defined. So I think we should emphasize that roots should be defined, so that those that have yeah. offices, yeah, prior notification, that has been heard, and and we, I hope that uh, we. That it will be picked and up. And even this, no, no, okay. the public community, the public, it, it will be heard. Thank and, you, uh, thank you. On that note, I wish everybody a happy yes. weekend as we move to Chitugum. Yes. For Independence Kanene Day from celebrations. Sironko says, Oscar, thanks for the show. But you did not balance because you've not invited someone from FDC. Since we have, <laughs> <laughs> since we have new leaders, <laughs> but for Tironko, I represented but, them, but because <laughs> I'm from Bugisu. Uh, Lydia, I, 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 I should tell uh, listeners that uh, we we have regularly invited the president of uh, FDC. We hope that one day he will uh, come. It's called Power. Yes, uh, uh, Patrick Obey Amoria. Your Medei in Palisa says. Uh, I'm uh, going to look for Patrick. Good morning, Oscar. Poa. It's so interesting to see Honorable Lydia shying away from some topics. That is your Medei in yeah, Palisa. Be so thank you very much, listeners of the Capital Gang. Thank you, Star Cafe, for uh, powering the Capital Gang. Thank you, Honorable Katesh, Honorable Semuju. Uh, thank you. Uh, Namfi, Malcolm, Honorable Lydia Anyoto. I am Oscar Semoyam Soke, and I shall see you next week.